Hello, Scott from Spicers. First and foremost, I want to congratulate you on the purchase of your Bentley pontoon. I want to go over a couple basic things on the Bentley pontoon that you'll be uh, knowing more about when you go through your orientation. So first and foremost, start of the front here, the Bentley offers a nice uh, flat, flat gate in the front, which has no pinch points. To open this door, you can't just pull on it like that. You actually have to take it like this, lift up on it, and it comes back. You notice that sometimes it'll actually want to close on you. You take it, lift it up again, it'll actually hold it back there. So if you want to keep it open, say you have a raft out front and you're going on and off of the sandbar, you can utilize this stopper. Take it off the stopper, lift it up again, and then lift it up again to put it back in the spot and you're nice and locked in. So if you're using the boat, it's not going to move. Lots of storage in the Bentley. Underneath every seat is going to give you capable storage. You've got storage in the corner seat even, and the loungers, and the backrest. They all open up for really nice storage. You can do a lot of stuff in here. Life vests, inflatables. There's also storage that you probably can't see on this side as well. And both back seats have storage under there as well. Um, at the helm, more storage underneath the helm. On the opposite side, you can't see, but there's a door that opens right here. You can get a table in there, a pedestal for the table, your poles for your cover. They can all store in there really nice as well. I mean, it's, it's, this is all storage, how deep that is there. Moving to the back here on the Bentley, you have your fuel fill here towards the back. Your engine's going to be hanging here. To fill, to fill the fuel, it's going to be right underneath here. Undo it, fill it up. Put it back on. You can't over tighten it, which is nice. So just keep turning until you hear that click and you're, and you're tight. There's a nice ladder here. You take the snap, you unsnap it. Ladder folds down. Nice sturdy ladder to walk up no matter where you're at on the, on the lake. To fold it back up, make sure you take the strap and snap it back on. That way it's secure when you're Again, same thing with the back gate. Locks up into place. You can get a better look at that stopper here that I was talking about earlier. Stopper lifts up and it go ahead, stops, holds the gate really nice. You have nice courtesy lighting on top of each speaker. Lighting shines down on the floor. So if you're out uh, in, a, in a little bit later at night, the sun starts to go down. Get a better look at the floor. Got your four speakers, which is hooked to your Bluetooth stereo system. This final here has a JBL Bluetooth. You hook your uh, cell phone to it or any kind of music device to Bluetooth it. At the helm here, you've got a nice tilt steering wheel. You have customers of all shapes and sizes that we can accommodate uh, using this tilt steering wheel. Also, this this chair here actually slides back and forth. It uh, reclines. I'll show you on this one here. Get the recline feature. You can actually right here, you can recline the seat. Back and forth. You can slide it. Back and forth this way. And also, if you want it a little bit higher up, lever, it lifts the chair up and down like that there. Both chairs do that as far as uh, captain and co-captain chair. Back on the helm, you have the nice armrests that go up and down. Cup holders you can usually get wherever, wherever you're sitting. You get your co-captain's cup holder, you have a cup holder here. No lack of cup holders on this boat. RPM and speedometer. You got your fuel gauge, your battery voltage. Nice two USB ports here. You have your 12 volt receptacle. That's nice if you want to use one of those uh, inflatable pumps for your tubes right here on board. Over here you have your master power, your navigation lights, docking lights, courtesy lights, a few accessory switches and a horn. You have your key on and off to start it as well. Your tether switch, which is a very key part of your uh, experience. This goes on to your person. If you ever happen to fly off the boat, it's going to automatically pull off of there and it's going to kill the engine.
when you put that back on there, you can't just hang it back on there. It has to be flipped back up to the run position in order for it to work properly. So that's nice and locked in there. That way the boat will start. If that's not flipped up to run, the boat won't start and you'll, you'll feel like you have a dead battery. Throttle here in the center where it, where it won't move. There's a, there's a detent there that holds it into neutral. You go to forward, you push it forward. Once again, neutral and reverse, you just push it back. There's nothing to squeeze here to put it into forward or neutral. So that's just a detent. Your opposite side of here, the throttle, you have the up and down for your trim. Trim up and trim down for the switch, which will trim your engine up and down. On the opposite side of the throttle, there's also a button where you can push in what they call throttle only mode. Tomorrow, or when you come into your rigging, to your, to your orientation with your rigging technician, ask them about that throttle only mode, they'll explain what that's for. On the opposite side here, you probably can't see what the camera's at, there's a capacity tag. Uh, it says, you know, the max amount of people, the maximum amount of weight in this, in this boat. This one happens to be 15 people, 2,180 pounds. The Coast Guard has to be able to see that if you're uh, out in the water and you get stopped by the Coast Guard for any reason at all. Uh, we covered this tilt steering wheel, which is nice. You got a nice storage compartment here. It's got everything, you know, cell phone, wallet, keys, whatever you may have. Switching over to the Bimini. It's all folded up right now, and it's all zipped nice into place. This whole bimini comes out for, for a lot of shade, okay? These legs pull off here, and that's what it looks like here for the feet. These feet right here are actually going to pull forward. When you unzip this, the whole thing's going to pull forward. These feet are going to lock in right here, okay? To unclip them, it's as easy as just smacking them out of there. They, they lock in and lock out and you just fold it back in. Again, something we can cover in, in person live at your orientation, but it's just nice to know how, how it works. Uh, the flooring is nice seagrass flooring, easy to clean. I use a whisk broom, maybe a vacuum. As far as maintenance, it's very easy to, to, to wash off. Other than that, uh, the Bentley is uh, ready to go out and have some fun on the lake. Appreciate your business very much. Have a great day.